moored just across from the Statue of Liberty and overlooking downtown Manhattan, Kinard's 150,000-ton liner, Queen Mary II, prepares to cross the North Atlantic. On the quayside, dockers stand by to release the ship. As is the custom, the captain says farewell to the port by sounding three blasts on the ship's whistle. Only in extreme weather conditions does the ship ever need the assistance of tugs. This is a fine view of Ellis Island, the former immigrant's gateway to the New World. 80% of cabins have sea views and, of these, 94% have balconies. Our tour of the ship starts on Deck 2 with the interactive picture gallery. This is an integral part of the Cunard Heritage Trail that we can find throughout the ship. The Grand Lobby is the focal point for decks 2 and 3 and is often the first area new passengers see on joining the ship. Each day whilst at sea, at midday, a deck officer rings eight bells. Main corridors run both fore and aft from the lobby, giving access to the main public rooms. There are any number of bars around the ship, including the elegant chart room. Just across the corridor from the chart room is a coffee shop named after the line's founder, Sir Samuel. Cunard have provided a traditional club atmosphere in the Golden Lion. Back now to the Grand Lobby and a glass lift takes us to Deck 7 and the King's Court. During the day, this is a popular self-service restaurant, whilst each evening it is transformed into four speciality venues. Just forward on the same deck is the Winter Garden Lounge, which is a quiet place to relax and perhaps read a book, or enjoy a pre-dinner drink. The difference between a cruise ship and an ocean liner is that a liner must have the ability to maintain a schedule regardless of weather conditions. To achieve this, she must be fast, strong enough to avoid damage, and stable so as not to cause passenger discomfort. Just to show you how steady our beautiful ship is, we've actually experienced swell heights of 5 to 6 metres during the, over the last 24 hours. That's uh, between 15 and uh, 20 feet in height, so uh, we didn't handle it all very well. Illuminations is a well-equipped lecture theatre as well as a planetarium, a concert hall and cinema. The 800-seat Royal Court Theatre with its show lounge layout is the venue for nightly production shows as well as, during the day, classical concerts and celebrity lectures. The Queen's Room is the elegant setting for afternoon tea, nightly boring dancing and the many receptions that take place during each voyage. Once the captain's reception is over, it's time for dinner in the Britannia restaurant. 
seating around 1,000 passengers in each of two evening sittings, the decor is reminiscent of the original Queen Mary. These sweeping staircases were surely designed for ladies to make an impact when entering the restaurant. Whilst there's no denying that this is a very large restaurant, the designers have managed to maintain an intimate atmosphere at each table. When Samuel Cunard founded his line in 1840, his company motto was speed, comfort, safety. Today's modern Cunarder sits very comfortably alongside the company motto.